Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and your host with the most, Avery LR32, here and destroy the ever living boo boo stain off of that like and subscribe button so we can hopefully get some more Chimera the Flying Mythical Beast support. I want to talk about the archetype, like in general, too, because this is just one card. So I figured it would at least be good to kind of talk about the archetype in general. So this is Baphomet. It's probably going to get translated to Baphomet, the Phantom Beast Dark Ruler. Level 6 Wind Fiend Fusion Effect Monster, 2400 attack, 600 defense. Requires two monsters with different types, that being either Beast, Fiend, or Illusion. Remember, Illusion is the new art, uh, the uh, new type of monster that's coming out in Duelist Nexus. Uh, you can only use the second and third effect of this card's name each once per turn. This card's name becomes Chimera, the Flying Mythical Beast, while on the field or in the grave, but it's still treated as a Phantom Beast card. That's pretty good. If this card is Fusion Summon, you can send one Beast, Fiend, or Illusion monster from your deck to the grave. During your opponent's turn, quick effect, you can banish this card from your graveyard, target one of your banished Beast, Fiend, or Illusion monsters, except itself, Special Summon it. This card seems interesting. Um... What I wanted to talk about in general was just, like, how competitively viable is this stuff going to be? I mean, obviously, we only have this one fusion out of Age of Overlord, and then plus the initial set of stuff coming out of Duelist Nexus. Um, but I would love to see this deck at least be, like, a rogue deck, right? Because I feel like as a player, over the years that I've played this game, I feel like I tend to do my best whenever I'm playing a deck that's kind of more like off the beaten path. Like, you know, something like Sprite Purely is a perfect example. You know, I was probably the only dude in that in that Boca Raton regional playing Sprite Purely, and I did well because of it. You know, people didn't really know what to expect with my deck, right? You know, they knew what the Sprite and Purely cards did, but, you know, having them together was something that, you know, I think not really anybody was expecting. Although, of course, then I play against Valley D and lose three games in a row to Math Mech. Yeah, that, that deck hard loses to Math Mech. It's, it's actually, like, really, really disgusting. Um, but regardless, you know, having a deck like this that revolves around, like, Gazelle and Burfamet is really cool, but I at least want to see the deck take off as, like, a rogue deck. I mean, don't just have it be, like, some sort of casual scrub garbage deck where, like, nobody wants to play it. You know, give it at least decent support. You know, not just a fusion monster here and there, but, like, give them decent stuff overall. Like, the first wave of stuff we got is, I feel like it's okay. But the issue, too, is that they're literally creating illusion monsters, which is just all of the Burfamet and Gazelle stuff, and illusion monsters inherently can't destroy monsters by battle. Remember that that's the big thing about illusions is that they can't pop monsters in battle. And then like they each have like similar effects to each other when it comes to that. And so putting that kind of stipulation on a type of monster is just really weird because... I really want to see what else this deck will be able to do in the future. I mean, obviously doing retrains of Gazelle and Burfamet are cool, but just dropping in one random fusion in Age of Overlord isn't going to necessarily make the deck good. Maybe we'll see it in like some sort of sub-engine once we get to like Duelist Nexus or Age of Overlord, where it'll be played as like, you know, a sub-engine with like maybe like Tri-Brigade stuff since they're all like Beast, Beast, Warrior, Wing Beast. Then you have the Illusion Monsters, but then you also have some Beasts and some Fiends and all that. So maybe we'll just see it played as like a type of sub-engine, which would be cool because I don't think any of their cards lock them into like you can only summon fusion monsters. I think the Chimera fusion might. I don't have it pulled up here in front of me. Um, but I just want to make this quick video um, because my internet has been really crap uh, throughout all of today. And I'm actually working on another Yu-Gi-Oh! retrospective in case you haven't been looking at my tabs here. Um, but I, I wanted to at least get out a video, talk about... You know, what it is that we can expect from Phantom Beasts or whatever they're going to call this archetype or illusion monsters. Because I, I want to play this deck. I really do. And I feel like it's something like Hungry Burger where, honestly, I actually feel like Hungry Burger is kind of better because it's ritual based and not necessarily like fusion based. But we've seen Konami do fusions right. I mean, we saw them use Shadals and create all of that and just make it such a great splashable engine out of Duelist Alliance. You know, we've seen them hit the fusion-based archetypes out of the park, and I really want to see them do it here again with Gazelle and Burfamet Mystical Beast crap. Like, I just, I, I want to see it be good, and I really want to see it, you know, at the very least be rogue. Doesn't necessarily have to be tier one, definitely not tier zero, but at least, like, make it like a sub-engine. Make it to where like it can be played in a lot of different decks and, and be compatible that way or splashable, whatever it is that you need. Like I, I really 
want to see this deck take off. You know, who would have thought years ago that we would be getting Gazelle and Burfamet support? You know, they, it, like there was a couple cards that worked with them, but it was also really awkward, like the Phantom Beast Monsters, Phantom Beast Rock Lizard, and like just didn't make any sense. So I'm really hoping that they knock it out of the park with this. I know that this was a bit of a shorter video, um, but I really wanted to get my thoughts out on this. So guys, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Hopefully we'll get back to our regularly scheduled programming tomorrow. But thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video.